I need an hour. I'll be there at 11. Hiya. Do you have any silver crucifixes? Do you want to play one or one with the wee man? The wee man? Hmm. Or just a plain one? One with the wee man. Lovely view. See, Dad? When are we going? See, Mum. Lovely view. Let's see if I can get us some tea. Here. I have something for you. See? It's like the one you lost. Here. Got a wee man on it. There. That looks grand. When do we go at home? Got your story all sorted. I'll have plenty of time on the ferry. We're laughing where to get it straight. We should offer Drew his taste from the jump up. I thought ten grand. A bit steep. He knows how much 25,000 sleeves of fags go for. Not sure if the new Drew will accept it. The new Drew? Could always offer it as a marriage gift. Might help get us invited. I'll see you back there. Have a nice flight. Oh, I will. Understand what you're signing? It's not a get out of jail free card. You will have to serve a prison sentence, but a greatly reduced length, yeah? Right. It's all being read to you, it's perfectly clear. Yeah. Sign your name. Or make your mark, whatever. Right. Might have something for you. God, how I've been longing to hear those words. It's only a small thing. But do you think maybe it could lead to something big? Oh, God, it's like watching Bogart and Bacall. Except the rain uses a police whistle. Yeah, just tell us what you got. Okay. One of the residents of the Hardwick Road, Aisha Iqbal, was attacked on the street. Had your infield Johnny's chucked at her. Nice. Racist attack? Well, she was assaulted by Asian kids, so. What are the ailments doing about it? Nothing. Calling it general youth disorder. The attack was unprovoked, but it seems far from London. Aisha recognised this man. My fat friend from the wasteland. Aisha's also seen him driving up and down the street, seen the local youths gather round his car. Ten minutes later, after he's gone, tyres are slashed, rotten rubbish is emptied on doorsteps. Now it seems to be getting more violent, more personal. I'm directed by Mohammed Khan. It's Mo Khan's car, and he's Mo Khan's driver. That much we know. Who's this guy? Pass it by, we thought. Nah, he was in the Kashmir restaurant when I first met Mo, and now he's here. Worth checking out. Mm. What are you going to do about the Polish girl? I mean, you said she's bright. So if she's the one who's read the report to Billy, maybe she's worked it out. Maybe she has. I'll play it by ear. Tell me this is not thrill-seeking. This is not thrill sick. Oh, thanks a lot. I feel a great deal better. Tell me it's not about your family. Look. I went into the Garrity to get close to a couple of Belfast bad boys that you wanted to put back inside. 
what we've discovered is a chain of corruption from hoodies on the street to Mohammed Khan to senior members of the local authority. And we've got Drew Johnson and his money, if he can get his hands on it, right at the centre of it. I know. So, you know what I have to do. Follow the money. And for that, I have to be back on the plot, shackled to nutty bollocks at Drew's side. This has nothing to do with thrill-seeking. There you go. You might have lost it for me. Any join the guy from the restaurant? Not yet, but we're working on it. Is there anything you need me to do for you? Raise your game. So it's good to be back, right? What? For Christ's sake, we've been over this 50 times. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Sorry. You know now that Drew is right. Building a new life here is the only way forward. Because above all else, you want to make things right with your brother. And we need to go to that wedding. Do you understand? I understand. Show set. Marriage is a great institution, but he wants to live in an institution. I do. I love you, Marvel. I love you. Yeah, how come you two didn't tell me we were doing the job together? It was my call. Do you have a problem with that? Matter of fact, I do. Well, my friend, if you paid me the 60 grand you owe me, perhaps I wouldn't be feeling the pinch. Hey, my big brother told you to score on that more than once already, so you bat up. That was the last time. Oh, I tried your win on. 
I want to be there at your wedding. I'm your reaper. I want to be there. And Jimmy can come to church too. Otherwise, your side's going to look very thin with just that sad sap there. What do you say? Bro, what do you say? For Christ's sake, Billy, will you go easy on that stuff? At this rate, there'll be a no state tomorrow. Hey, God is there. What more do you want? You know full well I want more. Give me the bottle, I'll pour you one. I'll pour you one! I plant my head in your face, will it? Oh, yeah, come on, simmer down. You don't know what I'm going through now. Actually, I do. It's like this, Billy. Some days you're the statue, some days you're the pigeon. You're a circuit bastard, you know that. <laughs> Here, one more final drink. Hannah bankers are often family, right? Yeah. Check out Shahana's first husband. Told he's in Pakistan. Could be a link in the chain. Right. Please come in. Assalamu alaikum. You think that canny Paggy would let her Drew marry her if she wasn't damaged goods? He wouldn't get a look at Try to remember. We're in with your brother right now. We need to keep it like that. If he doesn't trust us, he'll give nothing away. Here, a marriage gift from us to them. Who'd have thunk it? Huh? Billy Johnson. Rat bastard, huh? I've worn a wire lots of times, Billy, and I'm telling you now, it always gets to you. There are going to be people there today that would love an excuse to chop off our balls. So, keep your focus. Right. Come on. Come in, please, come in. <laughs> oh. All family and friends. <laughs> this is my brother Shahid. Assalamu alaikum. This is my brother Hussein. Assalamu alaikum. This is Mr. Johnston, everybody. Pull off at the next exit. Right. Watch your speed. Right. In alhamdulillahi nahmuduhu wa nasta inohu. One stark firuhu, one uzu bilahi, mincha rori and pusina. All praises are for Allah. We seek guidance and forgiveness from Him. We also seek refuge in Him from the evils of ourselves. Whoever Allah guides, no one can misguide Him. O oh men, fear Allah in whose name you plead for rights. And heed the ties of kinship. Allah is ever watchful over you. Shahana, do you accept Drew Johnston as your husband? Yes. Shahana, do you accept Drew Johnston as your husband? Yes. Shahana, do you accept Drew Johnston as your husband? Yes. Please, sign the register. Drew, do you accept Shahana Khan as your wife? Yes. Drew, do you accept Shahana Khan as your wife? Yes. Drew, do you accept Shahana Khan as your wife? Yes. Yes. Sign the register. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son in law. <laughs> now we can do business together. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Allah 
keep your soul safe in his hands and send his angels to guard you and guide you and bless your marriage with trust and joy and every good thing. Please. Okay, that's enough. Come say hello to the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. It never stops, does it? Wish it would, if only for today. Do you know the two rules for success in business? No. One, never tell them everything you know. <laughs> Joey, congratulations. Thanks, Jimmy. This is for you. Thank you. Billy. It's not done, Billy. What? I was going to give her a wee kiss on the cheek. Sorry. Sorry. Idiot. No, I can't give her a wee pet in the cheek. What's that all about? It's not the way. But you can't accept that, can you? You have to try it on. Well, if they don't like the British way, they shouldn't come here. I tell you, shh, why wouldn't they then think over a fish that might be looked at by a moth? It's not about being looked at, and you know it. Oh, get real. Do you don't think I'm being for real? You try me. Why? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Right. Sure I'll tell you what my problem is. And this has been my problem for a wee while now. I know absolutely nothing. I haven't a clue what's going on. I'll away again our money out of Belfast. Thank you. Hi. It's an underground bank and system agent thing. That doesn't concern you. The fact is, Mo's gonna do it for me. Yeah, Mo, who'll introduce me to his holy banker. Who will simply hand the cash over. If, if I back up a bit, it's what banker? Ho holy? Look, it doesn't matter. What you need to know is, with my share, I'm going into a business venture with Mo. What sort of business? Redevelopment. Where? Between a Hardwick Road and a Garrity. Whole lot's coming down. What? We're clear on the place for shops, apartments. The uh, Garrity? Aye. What about the lollipop? It's going. It's that bastard. Zagaboo bastard. Got you brainwashed. My thinking has never been clearer. Now, when we get the money, I'm going to split it 50 50 with you. And then I want you away from here. My future's with Shahana, Little Naveed, and Trey Jr., if he wants. And how do you know Shahana and Little Naveed and all them through there are not going to rip you off? Because they're my family now! Right, Where the fuck Billy, you! Billy, you Billy, 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 Mercedes is on the move. <laughs> what the hell is that? He's crying. Fucking pathetic. Whining pussy.
Abdur Syed Rahman. Shahana's married name? Exactly so. We think he's her ex-husband's uncle. He was at the wedding in deep conversation with Mo. That's our Hindi banker. Shahana knows it. Drew's kissed off Billy in the belief that he's now tight with Mo. He sees a whole new life ahead of him, a good life filled with light and hope. I don't think he even knows this guy's the Hawalader. So what else is Drew in the dark about? And what else does Mo Khan have in store for him? Clothes, Bash! Right. We don't know where Naeem Khan is or what's happened to him. You need to go after Mo. I need to get back in the street and find Billy. We're already circulating photographs. Helmets will pick him up. You could have every helmet in the force looking for Billy Johnson. I'd still put money on me getting to him first. Or him getting to you. Same difference. My Hawala Dar is communicating with Zia Azam Rathor in Belfast to confirm that Zia is holding the sum we've talked about. Yeah, the money was deposited with him more than a week ago. Good, good. When my man here is entirely satisfied, he will release the cash to you. Then you can make uh, the investment we've planned for. Is he here today? Are you going to introduce me? N not yet. There is one other small matter. We have to move forward quickly with this development. In these situations, there are people who are unreasonable. They can't accept the future. They will not move forward. They obstruct progress. There are some in the Hardwick Road I'm dealing with now. You have done this sort of thing before in Belfast, I know. So it won't be difficult for you. Sorry, what won't be difficult for me? Clearing the Garrity estate of the white trash that lives there. Well, I've been trying very hard for the last 18 months, two years to put behind me the violence of my past. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Eh? Your bloody pet Somali? I know what you got up to back home. The kneecappings, the beatings, the executions. This is not negotiable. I, I can't send my men into that estate. It has to be done by you and your people. Or your money will never leave Belfast. Mo, please. I have said what I have to say. Now come, enjoy the rest of the day.
Jimmy Mike, open up. Anushka? Is there anywhere Billy goes, hangs out, stores stuff, vehicles, puts on dog fights, anywhere? I'll just send you a picture, a training shoe print. Yeah, it's come through now. It's from Billy Johnson's lockup. There's been a big clean up there very, very recently. Probably tonight. Please read the bleach. I'll text you directions. It's a potential murder scene. No, I am. It needs to be secured. Right. Well, what do you think he's up to? Tying up his ends, covering his tracks, getting ready to blow. I'll wait here, see if he shows. on it. There's some half-burned training shoes in the rear. Fax across the photo or the print from the lock-up. Yeah, if we put him here... Apparently, the trainer from the van looks a good match for the print you took from the lock-up. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. It's a very distinctive pattern, an expensive cross-trainer. And matches the shoes Naeem Khan was wearing when he went missing. Yeah. But who can lead him there? Who's in the know? Jesus. Don't you wish you'd stuck with your own kind now? 
Where does this Abdul Said Ramjam live? Oh, do you want me to drain your wee boy? Because I fucking will! I will. King Street. I don't know the number. What color is his door? What color is his door? This Bible is purple. No! What is it? Who will speak to me? I have contact with the local police force. They have found a van containing some half-burned clothes, shoes. They belong to Naim. Have you seen them? No. The police, you know how they were. It will be days before they approach anyone. I know my son is dead. No, oh, that's sad. Uh... I know my son is dead, and I know who killed him. The burnt-out van was blue, a Ford Transit van. Your brother has a Transit van. Your brother was driving that van near where my son was last seen that night. Where is he? I don't know. You can't protect him. He's a dead man walking. If you find him, bring him to me. It's a matter of honor. Police officer. I'm a police officer. It's all right. Look at the warrant card, Shahana. Look. Do you understand? Shahana, did Billy do this to you? Did you give him the name of the Hawalader? And the address? Shahana, listen to me. Do you know where Drew is? Shahana? Don't call him. If he knows Billy has done this to you, he will kill him. Shahana, listen. I know Drew is for real. I know he loves you. But if you tell him, he will kill Billy. He'll throw it all away. It's all right. The police are coming. You're safe. It's okay. Don't call him. You're safe. Okay? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Billy's going after the Hundi banker. I have an address in King Street. Do you have the number? I'm on my way.
around, Billy. I know you killed Naeem Khan. If you attempt to escape, I will shoot you. Stop there, Billy. Stop right there, Billy. I will slit her throat. Now you know I will. Let her go, Billy. Billy. It's over. Let her go, Billy. Mom. You all right? Yeah. And Navid? Yeah. Has Billy been there? Yeah. Are you hurt? No. A bit. Kuda de Vaste, Kise Numarino. Like they're in unit four. Stay outside. Drew will kill him. I'm going in. When did you kill Nine Khan? What? The police found your van with his clothes in back, half burnt. Why did you do that? I never touched him. I never laid a finger on him. Is that what matters? 
It's not what matters to Mo Khan. It's not what matters to me. What matters is the man who killed his son, my wife's brother, is punished. Yeah. Mo wants me to hand you over to him. You know what that means? Sure you'd never do that? You'd never take someone else's part against your own flesh and blood? He was nothing. You'd never shoot your own brother. Holy <laughs> fuck! Just get the gun shot. Leave your line open. All units. Hardwick Industrial Estate, Unit 4. Suspects armed and dangerous. You see officer on the ground. Do not go in. Repeat, do not go in. Await arrival of firearms team. Police officer, lay down your weapon. Lay down your weapon. Listen to me, Drew. I am a police officer. If you shoot that man, I will have to take you out. I will have to take you down. I will take you down. I've been working undercover from the get-go. The drug deal was a setup. We let your son run as a way of getting me face to face with you. You thought I was behind it? Everybody thought you were behind it. Who wouldn't give in their past? What do you think now? I think you've changed. Can't change, not allowed to change. Not true. How did you know my junior was behind the drug deal? Ask your brother. Why would I do that? Ask him. I will put a bullet through your fucking heart, cover, I swear. My cover was blown. He followed me to Belfast and tried to kill me. We flipped him there. What a rotten day's work that was. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. That's a load of shit. And there's a hundred grand in this bag. Now we can go away, just the two of us, like the old days. A hundred grand, Drew. I had 12 million coming in, Billy. Laundered, clean. The investment property. 12 mil. We could have been legit. We would have been businessmen. What the fuck have you done? I did it for you. And me. After what you've done, there is no you and me. This is Murphy. Do not come in here. Repeat, do not come in. My brother will not shoot me. So I'll live, and I will kill you, and then I will kill your mommy, and then I will kill your daddy. I will burn their fucking house down. No one needs to die here, Drew. Not Billy, not you, not me. We just lay our weapons down. Don't do it, Drew. Do not pull that trigger. Think of the reckoning, the final judgment. Think of Shahana. Don't throw it all away. Drew, don't do it. Don't. Do not fire that weapon.
Hej, mor. Godt i som flyers. Yeah. <laughs> 